Hi, I'm executive producer Brian Burke. Welcome to the official Lost Video Podcast. Hey guys, welcome back to the official Lost Video Podcast. I'm your host, Chris. And today, we're going to be going back behind the scenes for one of the final steps in the post-production process, sound mixing. Sound can literally make or break a scene. So today, we're here with executive producers Brian Burke and his entire team to learn what exactly goes into the sound of loss. <laughs> Uh, well, from the beginning, we always knew that the sound and the sound design would be really important for the show, uh, particularly because you weren't going to be seeing things, but you'd be hearing them. For example, the monster, you know, you, you didn't see any of it until season two. It was important that the sounds that we found for the show were all very singular and special for the show, and really, you know, when you would hear it, you would immediately associate yourself with Lost. I'm Scott Weber, and um, I mix sound effects for Lost. and. Um, it's my job to uh, mix in the backgrounds and the sound effects and the foley. Hi, I'm Tom DeGorder. I'm the supervising sound editor on Lost. And basically my job is to supervise all aspects of the sound with the exception of the music. Right now we, we have a scene with Charlie. The problem is in production, the baby's crying hysterically. And the problem is we can't have that and it all has to be smooth. So one of the things I'm looking at right now is uh, we're replacing some of the crying. What? You can't use that track because um, there's certain angles of the baby that are off off mic, so they don't sound as good, and um, it's um, covering up his dialogue, and we got some ocean noise and, and stuff in it as well. So we have to replace it. I'm using some of the production as a guide. This would be my my replacement track of crying, and I have to go in and all of these little regions here represent where the picture editor has cut, has made picture cuts. I have to now take this piece and basically smooth it out and make it, make it work with the production audio. Class? 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 The best sounds that we know will be there for all 22 episodes or 24 episodes or for, for many seasons and how we can parcel them out properly and, and really make them as memorable as the characters themselves. Uh, most recently, I think we had the, the, the sonic weapon pylons. We used uh, uh, some musical elements. We then took those musical elements, treated them, distorted them, uh, really messed them up and, and used that to make a really disturbing sound. One of the elements was a tuba and uh, they had actually started out as a tuba, and then we, we manipulated it and changed it. When we were working on season two, at the beginning of the season, we knew that there was going to be a computer, and um, every 104 minutes, the countdown would begin. We need to push the button. No, we don't. We wanted to make this a very um, unique sound. Through a lot of discussions, we came up with the idea of using the scanner at the market, which scans all of your food. Ultimately, we sent out the sound guys, who are spectacular, went in the middle of the night to find markets that were abandoned, and recorded that sound until we found the perfect sound, and we pitch shifted and put it in. And now, if you watch the show, particularly the second season, um, when the timer goes off with four minutes remaining, if you close your eyes, you'll suddenly be transported into your local market. You don't want to push the button? Then I will. No! You know, I've always been fascinated by sound. I know it, it's um, it's often the forgotten art at the end of the process. Let's go over it again. I know what to do. Let's go over it again, just to be sure. You know, working on a show like this, 
where there's so many possibilities and you're working on a world where um, everything is, is, you want to make everything as real as possible so you feel like you're there and yet, you know, you can play with the unknown. That always gets us excited. The irony is that I cheated on my sound final in film school. Don't tell anyone. We've activated the implant in Claire. Yes, Brian. <laughs> we had a pro we had a problem um, when we were doing playbacks in here because it's um it gets so loud, and uh, between where we sit here at the console and the back desk, we could be going through a loud scene and they could yell at the top of their lungs and we wouldn't hear a thing.